Hi crafty friends, it's Sylvia. How's everyone doing today? I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. Uh, today we're going to do an unboxing and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but Aveliad, like Avelia, Aveliad Autumn by Nini Thomas. Okay, and uh, it's a square. It's a square because you see the square right there and it's blue. Usually the round ones are like pinkish red. And they always come, Diamond Art Club always comes in these pretty boxes that are very shiny. Uh, on, on, the, on the side here it says scan me and you could unlock for 10% off. And then back here it's, it tells you how it works uh, and the kit contents. Okay, so let's open this baby up. It's a little heavy. Okay, what's in the box? So we have the small sticker, the tool kit, and let us take the painting out of here and then move the box out of the way. Oh, by the way, usually the small sticker, you could either put it on your logbook or you could put it under the box, under on the bottom of the box. And that way, if you have the boxes on, piled up one on top of each other, you can you can tell that that's the, that painting that you're looking for. Okay. So let's open up the toolkit. It's always exciting to open the toolkit because you always get... Well, I, I don't know. I guess we always get like a different um, cover minder. So we're always looking forward to that. Okay, let's see. All right. So in the toolkit, you have very, very sharp tweezers. Very good tweezers, by the way. And then you have a pen and placer. This one's a blue pen. The... Um, resealable bags so you could put the drills in here just in case you don't have the containers with you and this is a comfort grip that goes on the pen it's supposed to help with your i can never put it in but it's supposed to go in there and it's actually very pretty blue it's supposed to help with your hands and then uh some wax in this cute heart-shaped container and i believe there's two in here yep and th this is very very good wax by the way guys and then it's got some washi tape. Isn't that pretty? And then look at the cover minder. Oh my gosh. It's a cute pink bunny with a strawberry. He's holding a strawberry. Or she's holding a strawberry. And then of course it's got the tray. Very good tray. Okay. And then of course another placer. All right. So let's put back everything in here. And move these things aside. So we could look at the beautiful painting. All right, and all the paintings from Diamond Art Club come in a plastic bag to protect it while it's traveling to get to your house. And it says Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. All righty, so let's open this baby up. I always keep the plastic just in case. Uh, I'm not gonna work on it. Uh, and I just put it back in here and I put it back in the box. So what do we know about Mimi Thomas? Well. The artist, Nini Thomas, which I love her name, by the way, uh, is from Oklahoma, and she specializes in fantasy art, especially fairies, which I love fairies. Uh, and she also has uh, puzzles. Her artwork is on puzzles, diamond paintings, posters, and also figurines. And she also writes books, uh, fantasy books, which is cool. All right, so let's see. So we have the instructions that says, thank you for your purchase. What's included in the kit, tips and tricks. Okay, uh, it tells you how to join the VIP Facebook group, step-by-step -step instructions. All right, all right, so let's put this aside. And then it comes with the big sticker. Okay, Aveliad Autumn by Nini Thomas. You put the start date, the end date, and then it comes with these pre-cut stickers so you can put these on your container if you want some people like it to put them in the container so other people don't so it's up to you wow it's got 65 colors that's a lot all right so these are the drills that's a lot of drills guys so it tells you the name of the painting which is nice because i tend to separate like i put all the drills in a basket and then i put the painting in the box so when i need my drills it'll i'll know that this belongs to that painting all right so let's look at the beautiful painting now the canvas from diamond art club guys is very smooth smooth like butter yep yeah oh yeah 
and is designed to prevent wrinkling and fraying. And it's made from heavy duty tarpaulin fabric for extra strength. And it's also waterproof, okay? All right, and let's not forget the drills are 100% resin for exceptional color. All right, it looks like we're gonna start from the top. On the top, it tells you, Do What Makes You Sparkle by Diamond Art Club. Uh, it always has two legends. Always one on the left hand side, on the upper hand side of the left, and then one on the right side on the bottom, okay? And I'm just gonna roll this, because like I mentioned, you, could, you can, with this canvas, this is very soft. I like to roll it just to make it a little flatter. Okay. And as you can see at the bottom of the painting, it always tells you, uh, it always, always shows you a, pa a picture of the painting. Diamond Art Club, Avelia at Autumn, 22 by 28 inches, and it's 56 centimeters by 71 centimeters by Nini Thomas, okay, and Diamond Art Club. And on the middle of the painting, it always uh, tells you you can take 10% off for your next order. And you can find them on Facebook and Instagram. And then over here is a lifetime warranty. It's got a 30 day money back guarantee also and a free diamond spill insurance and the 10% cashback rewards with every order which is awesome, guys. All right, let's roll this baby up. Okay, so this one is absolutely gorgeous, guys. But then again, I always say that about my all the paintings because I love them all. So let me just move this light over here so I won't bother the glare. All right, so let's look very quickly at the legend. So like we mentioned, the legend basically is very useful. Um, it has, it tells you the number of colors. So 65 colors. And then in the middle, it tells you the symbols and the symbols are what you find in the painting and that's where you're gonna put the drills. And then the color code are the DMC uh, code, okay? All right, so let's look at the painting. Now, when you look at her, and I don't, I'm not sure if her name is uh, in Italian and in Spanish, it's called uh, Avelia, but it has a D at the end. So I don't know if it's Aveliad or I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, I'm not sure. But they also have a winter one. Nini Thomas. So uh, Diamond Art Club, this is the autumn one. So if you look at it, it's got all these pretty autumn colors and leaves. And if you look at her, it looks like she's wearing a beautiful ornate uh, mask. So maybe she's going to a masquerade party and it's got a big flower and then it comes all the way down here. And I'm, and you can't really tell here, but it looks like they're like, uh, like big diamonds. I'm not sure. And then more flowers here, like purple flowers. And she's got a beautiful, beautiful face. She's got beautiful long hair flowing. Um, and she's got a gorgeous dress on. That's what my favorite is her dress, guys, because if you look down here, it looks like it's a, she's wearing a shawl. I wasn't sure if it's a shawl or a veil. And then she let, she took off the veil and it's like around her arms, but I'm not sure, it could be a shawl. But what's pretty about it is that this shawl has like pearls and it also has like black beads. So I wonder if it has special drills, I'm not sure. But if it doesn't, you could actually put some pearls because uh, Timo sells them. Okay, and then of course, this is the rest of her beautiful dress. And I believe guys, she is a fairy. I don't know if you can see it here, but I looked at the picture and she does have wings. And like we mentioned before, Nini Thomas does like to paint um, uh, fairies. And she's absolutely gorgeous. Loved all the colors. And it looks like there's a storm coming. You can't really tell here, but you, could, you, can, you can in the picture. Well, here, let's look at this very quickly, see? So it looks like there's a storm. And then there goes that beautiful shawl. And there's the wings back here. It's absolutely very pretty, guys. All right, so let's look at the colors. Let's put this aside and I'll be back so we can look at the colors. Okay, let us begin. So 150 is Dusty Rose Ultra Very Dark. I think you can see them there. Yeah. This one's 152 is Shell Pink Medium Light. 154 is grape, very dark. It's a lot of colors, so I'm trying to go a little fast. 169 is pewter light. 
very little of that one. 209 is Lavender Dark. 221 is Shell Pink Very Dark. 223 is Shell Pink Light. And 225 is also Shell Pink, but Ultra Very Light. Okay, can you still see them there? Let's move them a little this way. I think they're in the frame. Okay, next one. This one's 300, and 300 is Mahogany Very Dark. 301 is Mahogany Medium. And we have two bags of 310, and this is black. 315 is Antique Moth, uh, Medium Dark. 317, oh, you can see the, the colors here. 317 is Antique Moth, Medium Dark. And 318, is uh, Steel Gray Light. Cool name, Steel Gray. 407 is Desert Sand Medium. 413 is Pewter Gray Dark. 414 is Steel Gray Dark. And 451 is Shell Gray Dark. 632 is Desert Sand Ultra Very Dark. Now 645, there's two bags of 645, and this is Beaver Gray Very Dark. Let me move the lighting over here, and then we'll push it back again. Okay. Um, 642, I mean, 646 is Beaver Gray Dark. 754 is Peach Light. 758 is Terracotta Very Light. 762 is Pearl Gray Very Dark. And 779, we have three bags of 779, and this is Cocoa Dark. So very pretty brown. All right, uh, 838 is beige brown, very dark. 839 is beige brown, dark. 840 is also beige brown, but medium. And 841 is a uh, beige brown light. So you have beige brown, all of these are beige brown. Light, medium, dark, and ultra dark. 844 is beaver gray ultra dark. 869, very little. 869 is hazel nut brown, very dark. And 898 is coffee brown, very dark. Very dark, yep. All right, let's get these here. Uh, 902, very, very pretty. This is garnet, uh, very dark. Can you see in the picture? Yep. 938 is Coffee Brown Ultra Dark, and there's two of these. 948 is Peach, very light. It's a peachy color. 950 is Desert Sand Light. 975 is Golden Brown Dark. 977 is, oh, am I skipping one? Oh. 976 is golden brown medium. And this one's 977, golden brown light. So light, medium, dark. 986, forest green, oops, sorry, forest green, uh, very dark. And 987 is hunter green, dark. Okay, so so far we have lots of browns and peaches, okay? So let's move all these aside so because we have to finish more some more colors okay almost finished guys this one's 3041 and it's antique violet medium it's a pretty violet color 
3042 is antique violet light. And 3350 is dusty rose ultra dark. And 3371 is uh, black brown. 3721 is shell pink dark. 3722 is shell pink medium. 3726 is antique moth dark. 3727 is antique moth light. 3731 is dusty rose very dark. 3733 is dusty rose. 3743 is antique violet very dark. 3787 is brown gray dark. And 3790 is beige gray ultra dark. And 3799 is pewter gray, very dark. Okay, this is the last one here. 3818 is emerald green ultra very dark. I think this is for her necklace. I forgot to mention that she's got a beautiful necklace. Uh, 3829 is old gold very dark. And then you have a couple here that uh, are, they're hitchhiking in there. <laughs> So this one is, what do we say? Old gold, very dark. And 3830 is terracotta. 3857 is rosewood dark. 3858 is rosewood medium. And 3860, you got two bags and this is cocoa. And then the last one is 3861 cocoa light. All right. So here we have lots of purplish, lots of pinks, and a couple more grays, grays and browns. All right, so let's bring back the beautiful painting. And let's look for the, let's move this over here because we don't want to see that glare. And I think we still see that glare, don't we? Yeah, oh well. Oh, sorry about that, I just turned off the light. Okay, so. We have three ABs, we have 119, which is a very, very shiny purple. We have one, oh, 117, okay, and 141, which is like a white. So we're gonna look for these three ABs in the painting. So if you look at the legend, 117 is gonna be symbol one, okay? So where will we see a one? And I already see it. I see it on the flower, on this here that's hanging from the flower. Uh, it looks like it's, uh, no, not on a mask. So it's on the flower. Let's see. And it's on her dress, a lot on her dress, down here. Let me fold this. It's all over here and going all the way down to that beautiful dress that she's wearing. Okay, and then the second one is, well, let's see. So let's see that there. And the second one was 119, and it's like a purple. So it's number two, and it looks like the purple on the flowers. Any purple down here? Nope, so it's right there. So far it's on the flowers. And then 141 is going to be symbol three. So it's on her mask, on her very ornate mask. And I forgot to mention, she's actually wearing a necklace and it looks like it's an emerald. I'm not sure, but that's what it looks like. Okay, so 141 we said is three. And three is also on her dress. So all the way down here, all the way down here, her dress. So it's gonna look beautiful. Can you imagine all that shiny on her dress and on her flowers? And this is gonna be shiny also going down her hair. All right, and I think that's uh, enough. I don't think you need any more bling on this because you want it to look natural. It's, it's you know, she's like she's like a fairy of of autumn, of the fall. Okay. Oh Jesus, all these. Um, sorry about all these glare. The glare. Sorry guys, I apologize. Um, so that's about it. What can I tell you? She's absolutely gorgeous, and I love her. And oh, I forgot to actually. Let me bring her up so you can see how clear. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, well, there goes her mask. And I want you to see this beautiful dress here. 
I don't know if you can see the uh, see the black beads. It's just gonna look stunning, guys. All right, so that's about it, guys. So have a wonderful rest of the day, and thank you very much. Bye bye.